Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight, and one of the questions that, especially new Linux users, but it goes hand in hand with most Linux users, is how do I manage my kernel on the Linux operating system? What is a kernel, Dolphin Oracle, you ask? The kernel, let's read a dry definition from Wikipedia. The kernel is a computer program at the core of a computer's operating system and generally has complete control over everything on the system. It is the part that is always resident in memory and facilitates interactions between the hardware and the software. Wow, okay, that's pretty dry. But the idea is there's a chunk of the operating system below all the user land tools. The, little cur the kernel sits there and it tells the computer what to do. You more or less tell the kernel what to do. And the kernel in the Linux kernel, unlike some other kernels out there, also includes all the various hardware drivers inside it, for the most part, for Linux users to use their hardware on their on their computers. Okay, so how do I manage those things? DO, why does MX Linux not have a kernel management tool? Why do you need a kernel management tool? And MX, and in most Debian uh, based or Debian packaging type systems, the kernels are just in packages, regular packages. So if you want to, you and in Linux, you can install another kernel. You also get kernels through automatic updates. I happen to have Synaptic here, Synaptic Package Manager, and kernels in Debian are labeled Linux dash image dash the version name. So if we type in Linux dash image, we can go through here and we can see all the different kernels that can be uh, installed, uh, provided by Debian, in some cases also provided by MX. Now you can see there's different version numbers. We are currently on 510.0-14 uh, on our standard releases. How do I update those kernels? Well, you don't have to. There's a meta package called Linux Image AMD 64 for our 64-bit users, and there's a, another version of that same meta package for 32-bit users that will auto-update the kernels whenever Debian produces a new kernel update. So I believe when we released MX, we were on 5.10.0-9, and now we're up dash 14 as of last week. Well, that's great. I'm getting auto-updates. That is, except Oz users. Advanced hardware support users, we don't auto-update that kernel. And also Antics users, we don't auto-update the Antics kernels for a variety of reasons, most of which on Antics it kind of gets funky with the live system. And then on MX, on Oz, we don't do it because sometimes when we go Oz, we don't just stay within one kernel family. We'll bump a whole version, and I don't want to force that update. None of us want to force that update on people who maybe... You know, sometimes those kernels are a little more on the edge than the tried and true, tested, rock solid Debian kernels. So we don't we don't send those out automatically. But where can you get them? When we put them out, they're in MX package installer under the kernels tab. And you can see here we have the we have three Antics kernels here that you can get. Uh, we also have Anything that was previously released on Oz is also available here. We had a 5.14 when we initially released. 5.15 was never on an ISO, but it was in the repository. And 5.16 is the current. This entry is the key one in the popular apps kernels area. When we update the 5.16 kernel, or if I we add, say, a 5.17 or a 5.18 down the road, then there will be an entry here if it's a 5.6 where it said where this looks like it's installed because it's grayed out, this little guy right here, let me select it, that one, the one in blue, but it was gray when it wasn't selected. That will be, if you don't have it installed, it will turn white again. That's a little sneaky hint that you have, there's an update there available for you. Uh, it won't show as an update in Synaptic. It won't come down as an auto update through the MX updater. I just update the entry in popular apps so that the kernel is present. It was suggested in our form that we announce it. So as of the dash six MX kernel, the 5.16 dash six MX, trying to announce those, but this is probably where you're gonna see it first if you're keeping up on your updates. 
So you can install the kernels from here, and the index kernels actually come from outside our repository, MX Package Installer. Of course, it has superpowers. I've got other videos on that. Okay, great. So Oz users can get the kernel whenever they want to. Standard desktop users, standard release users will get the auto updates from Debian. They're not ours, they're Debian's. So let's say, so when, uh, when a kernel auto updates, when a Debian kernel auto updates, or when you install another kernel completely out of series, the previous kernel is not removed. It is, it is still present unless you manually remove it. I always recommend keeping at least the one known working kernel before you do an update. And with Debian, when they do their updates, the 5.10 kernels never auto remove. They're always present. So what's that look like? If you go into your boot menu here, I got my virtual box here, and it's prepped up with an entry where there's been several kernel updates. If you go into advanced options here, you'll see there are many iterations of the 5.10 kernel in here. 10, 12, 13, and 14. I followed right along with the regular updates with this with this virtual machine. So I've got a lot of kernels in there. So um, that's not a bad thing. You always have something to fall back to. But if you have a separate, here's the downside. If you have a separate slash boot partition like this encrypted machine does, hint, 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 those of you on encryption, pay attention. It is possible for that slash boot partition if it's not very large, and by default ours is only 512 megabytes, which is enough for like four kernel updates or five kernel updates. But if you've been playing around or if you've been following a lot along since the release of MX21, or if you even if you update, especially if you update it from MX19 and you still got old kernels lying around, it is possible for your boot partition to get a little small. And we just re uh, get full. And that can cause problems if the auto update comes through because the app doesn't check. It just says, hey, you got space. So here, you'll see this little pop up. We just rolled out this tool called MX Cleanup Notifier. You're not going to find it in the menu. It's, it's just, it runs in the background at startup. It also runs when the update tool checks for updates. It will check to make sure your partition is large enough for a kernel update. And give you the option to clean it up. Now, you, you, I've, I've, it faded away on me, but there's a cleanup button on there. If you hit dismiss, the warning will not come. If you click dismiss, the warning will not come back until after the size. This is going to sound confusing. If you've cleaned out the, the partition, that warning's not going to come back until that partition is again above that size and drops below it again. Does that make sense? So the limit's 160 megabytes. So if it drops below 160 megabytes, you're going to get that notice. You click dismiss, that notice isn't coming back until at some point that drive gets more than 160 megabytes of free space again. And then you and then something else installs, you drop below it, then it'll come back. Ugh. Okay, that's a little weird, but that's how it works. You just let it fade away or click on it. It, it goes away uh, without dismissing it. It'll keep reminding you when you log in or when you run the updater tool. Now, what do you do? If you hit that cleanup button that was on there, cleanup button, then it's going to open MX Cleanup on the, and it's going to let you hit the list and select kernels to remove. It's going to show you what kernel you're using, and what kernels aren't in use that are safe to remove. And you can check all those and it'll go through the regular removal process. We're not doing anything fancy here. It's just going through the app purge process to get rid of the kernels, get rid of the stuff that's clogging up slash boot so that when you go through and do your next update, everything flows through nice and smooth. So anyway, so there you go. That's kernel management on MX. Their packages, they show up in all the packages and managers. And we have the extra tool to check your disk space so that we don't hose up your uh, hose up a kernel update when you're running the updater tool. And we have the remove kernels tool in the cleanup application, the MX cleanup application. But it's actually using the same tools the package managers do. You can do it however you want. Kernel management on MX, trying to be easier. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or mxlinux.com. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.